Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Scum single player episode. So previous episode, we managed to make it all the way to the Bravo 4 trader and I managed to get my fame points up via fishing, which is a really cool feature and I'm actually going to do more of it. Uh, I'm actually going to do more of it maybe today actually, because beside my home, which is essentially just a shelter, a little box and three torches, there is a stream. I believe I can fish in that. If failing that, I can't fish in that. There is a pond in Bravo 3. You can kind of see it kind of running parallel to me over to the west. And northwest of me is the larger lake which I can fish in. I can 100% fish in that. But today I'm on my way home. I'm pretty much on my way home. I don't have a lot of money on me at the moment. As you can see at the top right, $132 to my name. But I've got 102 fame points and I've, I've even got a toolbox, I've got some ropes and I've got some bits and bobs here that are going to help me, you know, design a base. Mostly this, 18, is that 16? 16 uh, nails in a box, 16 out of 20 nails in a box, which is really, really good because that's going to come in handy when it comes to the actual building phase of the uh, of the base. I'm just going to quickly drop down here, probably break my legs, did I break my legs? Hell, no broken legs! even though we have a backpack full of stuff. Now, a lot of people were asking me, was that a, a, a 556 suppressor that you sold in the previous episode? No, it was an MP5. I, I double checked, I made sure that it was not in fact a 556, an M16 Mark 18 uh, suppressor. If it was, I would have put it on the gun and essentially just saved myself the space as well. Uh, there's one other thing that I want to do today. I want, I want to go into uh, Charlie Charlie Three's town and do a little bit of looting right now. Um, first, I'm going to empty my backpack because it's full. It's full to the brim. Uh, we'll do a little bit of looting. We'll come back to the base. We'll start planning where we want to place things, and then we'll start thinking about you know fishing and stuff like that. A lot of people actually quite enjoyed the fact that I was fishing on this game. Not a lot of people tend to do it. Um, as I found out from recent comments and forum posts and you know posts on uh, the steam discussion boards fishing is slow but it is very rewarding in terms of fame you can see a lot of people going to traders having enough money to buy you know the rod the reel the line the the, the bobber the the treble hooks or the single hooks whatever kind of hooks you want to use and a little bit of uh, of fishing bait as soon as you catch a fish you can turn that fish into bait so you've got an infinite supply of bait. But the good thing is, you can constantly fish. And if you get a small enough fish anyway, you're gonna get like maybe one or two or three fame points. For me, I got five, I believe, for one of the tuna that I pulled in. So again, it's slow, but it's effective. If you don't mind sitting there or standing there or whatever, or crouching there, I don't know what you do. Maybe you go fishing prone, I don't know. If you sit there, stand there, go prone, whatever, and do the fishing side of things, you could technically build up your fame points relatively quick, which is probably quite an effective idea, which is why I see a lot of people posting about it. Some people don't like it, some people do like it, some people want the whole, the, the old style of fame points to come back when you'd kill a puppet, loot it, and you would get fame points for that, but because the system has in fact changed uh, in terms of the things that you wear, the things that you carry, the things that you loot, etc., all of those things kind of contribute to your overall fame build-up. So, I kind of like that we can do the fishing side of things and kind of get fame back for that because I like fishing. I am a, I'm an avid angler myself. If you didn't know that, uh, there are videos on my channel where I go fishing. There's a Fishing with Feudal. Uh, in fact, there's even more Fishing with Feudals uh, coming out this year. Um, I've actually been preparing for a lot of... Um, a lot of little outings that I want to do in my in my local area, further afield, Loch Lomond, Loch Ness, all the other places, Loch Aw, like the East Coast and the West Coast. These are the places that I'm going to go. But uh, here we're home. But as I was saying, the fishing side of this game is pretty useful, especially if you're running out of food as well. Right, now I can finally put all this stuff, all this guff. In fact, I'm going to put my fishing rod at the very bottom with all the... Uh, the components to it, so this might take me a second, so I do apologise if I'm a little bit slow. Um, I just want to make sure that the, the fishing stuff is kind of segregated 
from all the other loots, so I don't kind of lose track of where all my like you know all my lines and all my all my hooks and stuff like that are. Uh, if I do find any more fishing stuff though, I will be picking up. I will in fact be taking that with me. I'm gonna hold on to a water bottle, but I'm gonna put this one in here. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to that. Put that in there. I'm going to hold on to this because it's quite useful if I want to start uh, using the ATMs and such. Oh, there's more baits. The good thing about the baits is the meat baits can be generated from just about anything. I believe I can rate cut. No, I can't make it from that because it's already a bait. But you can make bait from, I think you can make it from chicken, pork, beef, uh, whatever. You can make it from a lot of things, which is very, very handy. Very handy indeed. I'm going to put that uh, in there as well. Right, we should be nice and light now. The bag backpack is looking a little more deflated now. Uh, I'm going to have, in fact, I was going to have a drink there, but... I am going to put this water bottle back in my my, uh, my little pocket. I'm going to have a little sippy sip of this nice clean water. This lovely clean water that realistically shouldn't be clean. Even though it's moving, I would love it if they made it so you needed a, a pot or a bucket or a bottle or any any sort of like container which can hold liquids. Hell, even the gasoline canisters and stuff like that. If you could take that and put it over the top of a, of a campfire and purify the water, like boil it and then allow it to stand so it goes cold and that way you can drink it and it's purified water and it would get you back maybe faster hydration or something like that where it, as opposed to like drinking it straight from the stream you could get like maybe a parasite, you could maybe like you could maybe vomit because there's maybe a chemical in it or something like that some sort of you know sewage or something like that I know there's no other humans living on the island but there are bunkers that do have waste pouring out of them in the form of blood, puppet's blood, Brenner's blood, Razor's blood uh, animal carcasses, animal excrement, ex like all sorts of stuff like just drinking that would be a bad idea unless you have like some sort of filtering device at least in my opinion. I mean, you can go... I mean, you can go... Well, actually, I need to choose my words carefully here because you can't just drink the water out of, like, some of these streams in Scotland because some of them have, like, serious contaminants on them as well. I'm sure that's probably the same around the world. But, uh, if you go to the highlands, though, if you go to the highlands and you go through, like, the ice water and stuff like that... Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's really good. It's really good. It's re Ice cold pure, no, nothing in it, just H2, oh, it's beautiful, I love it, I love it to bits. Another thing that I want to do today is probably trying to get my hands, oh, chicken! Oh yeah, there's no actual chicken, I need to hunt for this thing. <gasps> oh, it's right there! Chicken, Ch chicken, chicken! Yes! Yes! Got it! Oh, hello! Oh, the ragged- ah, I love the ragdoll in this game so much! It's so good! It's so good! Right, let's pluck this bad boy. Lucky I've got myself a little bushman. Oh, look at them moving! See, because they made the noise and I made the noise! Oh. I'm gonna take that. Small animal guts? I'll take that as well. I need to be ca oh, look at them move. Remember what I was talking about, the, the, old, the old Frankenstein movements? They're moving a little bit too quick for my liking, but you can see what I mean. Let me go first person, I'll show you. Right, they're back to normal now. Dude, like, that's so cool! It's the fact that the puppets wail out, that they scream out, that they found something, and all the surrounding puppets are like, Huh? What was that noise? Let's go and find out what that was! And then they wander over to the last known location of that noise and they they, they just hold their position there and they go back to being normal puppets like uh, this chap right here. I missed. He's dead now. <laughs> I'm hoping they didn't really hear me there. The fact that I've got these bow silencers on my... In fact, you can't even see the bow silencers. Hold on, let me see if I can... There's a bow silencer and I've got a second one which is on the bottom portion of the bow that allows the uh, the ping to be a little bit quieter which means you can get a little bit closer to these uh, enemies right here uh, where is that? where did I kill that puppet? ah, there he's there I'm gonna need that arrow back I don't have a great deal of arrows 
So I need to be quite careful about what I do here. Pring. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I genuinely don't want to. I, I can't describe to you how how re rice book. We need more cooking boots. We need more cooking boots. Eh. Uh, because I really want to make some meals. I want to make some proper meals in this uh, this playthrough. Because I feel... Oh yes, that's so good. I love this game. I love it when it gives me my spawn. I lo There's movement. I can hear movement. I can hear movement. There he's. There she's there. Dead. Cool. <laughs> I'm pretty good at this game when I want to be. <laughs> Oh, I'm pretty this game when I want to be- Wait, where did that wooden arrow come from? Where did that wooden arrow- Ooh, pipe wrench. Pipe wrench. Batter someone in the teeth with that. Ooh, I'll take that. I'd like to get a- <laughs> Post-apocalyptic bowman. <laughs> right, box of nails. I'm just going to leave those nails out because I don't really need them. I've got a box of them. What's the point of taking individuals? When you can have another full box. Another full box. I'll be taking you. Thank you very much. Uh, I will be taking the garlic seeds. I will be I will be farming in this playthrough as well. I'm going to try and do absolutely everything possible in this game. Farming, all sorts of stuff. Uh, I'm also get, I'm, I'm going to make the effort to try and learn how to do kill boxes as well. Because I feel that that's a massive part of this game that I kind of neglect, that I kind of miss out. I know a lot of people don't particularly like them. I know a lot of other people find them quite easy to do. I don't understand how you you, you how you guys find it so easy to do, but I'm going to include them as much as possible when I when I have the relative you know gold balance and the account balance to back it up. I will be doing kill boxes. I will be attempting to do abandoned bunkers, but I need to get my character to a certain stage where I can feasibly do that without worrying about the, you know, the the repercussions of <gasps> chickens. Sorry, I, I hear a chicken. I get distracted. Chicken, 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 chicken. I'm wondering if that's actually a huntable chicken and not in fact one that spawns in the overworld. If it is one that spawns in the overworld, those puppets will be in fact aggroed towards it, but it doesn't look like they are. So uh <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear that and and like make the game not entice me with uh, the the promise of chicken. Military Military? What are you doing here? I need. I can't see her head. I can't see her head. I need to get a clear vision on her head. There's her head right there. I lied. I didn't see her head. I shot her in the neck. I shot her in the neck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh. How do you not hear me? What's that? Lucky star cigarettes. Give me that. How does that guy not hear me? I don't have an overly high stealth skill and I don't have a very good uh, camo skill either. Oh, did you see? Oh, Jesus God. <laughs> I shot him so hard that he almost did a somersault. Money. I like money. Give me the money. I like the money. Right. Search the ATM or the cash register for some money. I like money. Have a little look for more milk. Drink milk. Drink the milk. Uh, that's a beer. I'm not going to bother taking that. Um, what else have we got up here? I heard the bushes rustling. And it's behind me that they're rustling. Ah, oh, hello. Headshot. Headshot. Torso shot, not good. Oh shit, missed. I missed. Die, madam. Right, there we go. Crisis averted. How many arrows do I have left? Two. Oh, Christ, I need to make more. 
I need to make more. Ooh, there's a very nice set of bushes right below me there. I will just get rid of her. I missed. I shot her in the neck and we got her. Oh, that was uh, that was lucky. I could have uh, I could have spawned a heart right there. That could have been a problematic. Mm. Right, we'll get some additional arrows. We'll get some get ourselves kind of sorted out here. What I'll have to do is quickly pick up those arrows as well. But it's probably better to make a little surplus. Get these things rolling. Right, from here, uh, we'll do a little bit more looting. We'll see if I can try and find a few more cookbooks. I'd like to try and find a pizza cookbook and a and a, a, a cake cookbook. I want to make some cakes. I want to make some desserts. I want to make I make mix some uh, some sweet stuff because, uh, as you guys know, uh, I am doing a calorie deficit and I'm going to be going to the gym. And uh, I can't touch sugar. Uh, well, I can technically touch sugar. I know a lot of people are going to tell me, oh, you can touch sugar, just do it in moderation. I've cut it out completely. I've cut it. <laughs> so, bear with me. I will be consuming a lot of sweet things in game and not a lot of sweet things out of game. <laughs> but that's what I'm doing. It's, uh, it's just something that I used to do. It's something that I've done before and it works for me. Other people have got their methods. I've got my method. This is just how I operate. But I will be making some cakes in this game. I want to make some cakes. I want to make some... One thing that I don't know if they actually do is they have dumplings in this game. I'd also like to make scones. I'd really like to make sc oh, scones with raisins through them. Like fruit scones. With a little bit of salted butter, like proper, like I mean properly salted butter, I mean actual butter with salt through it. Lovely. I don't, I, so in the UK we've got like a variety of different types of butter, right? The top three seem to be clover, which is very creamy, it's a very creamy greasy butter, I don't even consider it a butter, because it's not a butter, it's, it's, it's grease and it's, it clogs and it's, ugh, ugh. it's good for cooking with, it's really good for cooking with. Perfect for cooking with, but not so much for like, you know, spreading on stuff. Then we've got Lurpak. Lurpak is the famed... <laughs> How do I describe this? How do I describe this to my American audience? How do I describe this? It claims to be spreadable. However, when you go to spread it, right, when you, you, you put it on your knife, you go to spread it on your toast, or your bread, or a roll, or a baguette, it destroys the bread. <laughs> it destroys the bread. It doesn't spread. It, it stays solid. It stays a solid entity and it destroys your sandwich, your toast, your baguette, whatever, your, cro your croissant, your croissant, your croissant. It destroys it. But that is my preferred butter. I do really like Lurpak. Lurpak's proper salted butter. I love it. I love it to bits. Anybody in the UK also, in the Lurpak gang, will also understand that a, a marketplace now for a again for my audience outside of the UK we have a supermarket called Asda it is a sister company of Walmart some people don't know that it is a sister company of Walmart right now through a specific period Lurpak was placed inside security containers do you know what I'm talking about when I say security containers those containers that you cannot leave you know, the shop with, and you can't get it open because you need a specific device that unlocks, like, the whole device, and it allows you to get the product out of the box. Now, we have those in my work. We also have them in Asda. They placed Lurpak. They placed Lurpak in security containers. They placed cheese in security containers as well. Cheese. They put cheese in it. Why? <laughs> Who's stealing cheese? Who is stealing the cheese? Apart from the rats and the mice and like the gerbils and stuff like that. But who's stealing the cheese? Who is stealing the cheese? Sorry, I went on a wee bit of a fucking... A wee bit of a rant. Well, not even a rant, just a complete tangent right there. But yes, um, the other the other butter, I believe, is called... What is the other butter called? What is that other butter called? It comes in a block. It's an actual block. It's a block of butter. It doesn't come in a container like Lurpak does or Clover. It comes in a foil wrapper and just, you know, the, tr the, tr the traditional way of actually containing butter. 
Sorry, I got a wee bit of a scare there. Just a wee bit of a frighten. Just a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. I can't remember what it's called. I th Oh, God, I can't remember. I genuinely cannot remember what it's called. It'll come back to me. I'll probably put it in post-edit. I don't know. I'll, I'll do something. I'll put a picture of it or something. I don't know. Where did you come from? Witch! 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 She came through the wall! The witch came through the wall! Good thing I'm, out. I'm an inquisitor. <laughs> Ooh! I'll be wearing one of them tomorrow! A leather jacket? In fact, it doesn't even look like a leather jacket. It looks more like a... Uh, what does that look like? It doesn't look leather. It, lo it looks shiny, but it looks like a, a polar fleece. You know those, those trespass polar fleeces? Do you know the ones I'm talking about? If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, go Google it. Trespass polar fleece. Go Google it. It looks shiny. It looks very sh- Prefer it in red. Or blue. Or tartan. Not green. Not, not a big fan of the green miniskirts. Not a fan of these either. Even though I wear them. I do- For all my new audience, for all, all my new viewers, uh, I, I for a while did not like the fact that I had to wear Crocs. Um, I had a lot of bad things to say about people who wear Crocs. Not, not to this, but not specifically to people who wear Crocs, just people who generally wear Crocs. If you, if you kind of catch my drift. Like, for example, people who wear Crocs, but, you know, kind of maybe belong on a list. <laughs> it's a joke. It's, it's just a little joke. It's just, if you wear Crocs and you like your Crocs, that's fair. I, I will not judge you at all. I will not judge you in any capacity. However, if I see you wearing them around me, I will ridicule you. I'm, I'm sorry. That's just the rules. That's the rules of... So rules of things. Um, hold on. I forgot to do this earlier. Uh, hashtag buff M. Except, remember ladies and gentlemen, you always name your fridges buff M. Even the ones that you can find as like, you know, ones that you can own, ones that you can have inside your base, you always name them buff M. And it's only to annoy Miss Impossible. <laughs> And I don't want anybody coming after me because she's my bestie. She is my bestie. She, I mean, her and I, good friends, very good friends. So I'm allowed to do this. I'm allowed to do this. I'm allowed. There's a clip. M1 clip, tidy. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. I'd like to find myself an M1 Grand though. I'd like to find an M1 Grand. Maybe get a, a rail, a custom rail put on it. Hold on. There's a. There is indeed something I need to do in here. Hold on. Uh, set name. Hashtag buff M. Remember, you need to capitalize the E to make sure that it's M. Miss M possible. There we go. There's a pan. I'll be taking that. What we got here? A little waste bag. I'm not going to take that because I have my spawn. There's no point taking a waste bag if you've got a spawn. The spawn's bigger. It's, it's got a bigger capacity. It's got a heavier uh, carry weight. It's, it's a pretty good container. Headshots galore. I love this weapon. I love the bow. I love the compound bow. It's so rewarding to use. So rewarding to use. Let me just pick up these arrows off of their bodies. Uh, is that a military boy? Are you military? He is. Oh! I knocked him out with that one! I'm about to knock him out completely with this. Oh, shit. <laughs> Loser! Loser! Right. Search this, we're gonna have a wee apple. What I am doing as well here is I'm kinda searching for food. I'm kinda I'm kinda searching for, for all sorts of stuff. Any veggies or anything like that that I can make a basic meal out of, uh, that's really good. Uh, basic meals will sustain you for longer. Eating just raw material or, or like raw food and stuff like that, it's okay, but it's not perfect. It's not great. What you wanna do is you wanna cook more. You wanna cook meals. You wanna get yourself like, I don't know, a veggie stew, uh, uh, meat kebabs and stuff like that. Ramson. Oh god, I sound. Ju I just sound like M. M. God damn it. <laughs> god damn it. M. What's up? Oh, real lights and a boombox. We we'll get some party going. Uh, I am gonna take these bolts. I'm gonna take those bolts. Oh, excuse me. More bolts. Bolt your rocket. That slang, by the way, bolt your rocket, basically means, like, get lost, like, go away, you idiot, like, bolt, like, you know, like a rocket, bolt your rocket. 
I realise I just said two slang things and expected you all to understand what I'm saying. Bolt your rocket is just a typical thing you'll hear in maybe just the west coast of Scotland, maybe not so much the, the east coast. There's a drill, I'll take the drill. Oh, 12 gauge, 12 gauge sluggies. And tw whoa, 12 gauge buck, even though it's one round. Uh, one th oh, right, this is one thing that I need to I need to request from the devs because it seems to be something that uh, a lot of other people seem to be wanting right now. Uh, see if you have anything in the form of a cartridge, aka one of these things, or a, or a, a what do you call it? A birdshot, uh, or birdshot rounds essentially, or birdshot cartridges. Uh, if you've got 9mm, if you've got 556, 762, 792, 50 BMG, I want the ability to recycle that stuff. I want the ability to recycle it because I want to get back the gunpowder from maybe, like, well, for example, there's only one round of this. I'm not going to use just one round, so I may as well recycle it, make use of the gunpowder for something different. So, I'd like to take it to a drill press, drill press the, uh, the round itself, and well, obviously not the pri Obviously, take the primer out of it because that would be that would be that would be so funny if they did if they did that. I've just had an epiphany. I've just had an epiphany. If they introduce recycling into this game, recycling rounds, if you do not remove the primer from this and you drill into it. It will fire off. It will explode. the The projectile will it, it, like eject itself from the cartridge, from the bullet casing, and you will now have bullets flying around you. That that would be so funny because you know fine well what would happen. Various people will die. <laughs> Various people will lose their characters to just simple like. Oh, I'm just gonna drill this bit, and it'll it'll be totally fine. It'll, it'll be fine. I won't I won't get killed. Bang, dead. <laughs> I'm sorry if this probably annoys a couple. Of... Hold on. Hello, friendo. I thought I shot his. Uh, I, th I thought I just shot. His hat off! Did you see that? It looked as though his hat wanted to come off. His hat wanted to just go and fly off. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That would, oh, that'd be so funny if it did happen though. Right? Right? It'd be so stupid. It'd be so, so stupid. Wait a minute, can I use this? Can I deposit it from here? Oh! Submit. Yes. No, eject card. Ah, wait. Huh? Did no. Wait, use K uh, one submit deposit two one eight submit yes. Transfer. Oh, trans. Try another transaction. Okay, eject card. Guess I can't use it. I guess I can't use it. But piggy, piggy. I hear the piggy. I also, ooh, I, I maybe want to take that. I maybe want to take that because if I can get myself, if I can get myself a portable um, gas stove, I can start cooking without the need to. Oh yes, I can start cooking without the need to light my fire, and it means I can use my pan, which means I can do more advanced meals. A headshot, beautiful, beautiful. Landing the hits today. Oh. Oh. Landing hits. Still, I still landed the hit. Maybe not a headshot, but still. Oh, hello. Oh, that was in the side of your head, sir. I missed. Dink. There we go. Problem solved. Ladies and gentlemen, just use bows. Just... Piggy. Just use bows. Just, just, just use bows. Just, just use the bows. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. Just use the bows. I'll take some more apples. Apples and onions. That's a weird combination of uh, of fruits and veggies. I love onions though. Like, see, see if you're to ask me, like, do you like onions? Hell yeah. Do you like spinach? Hell yeah. 
Do you like lettuce? I'm not a fussy eater. I'll eat everything. I'll eat anything. Ooh, is that, a, is that what I think it is? <gasps> yes, it is ghoul. Ghoul energy juice. Right, I think we're uh, a little bit stacked right now. I think we've got lots of good stuff here that we can probably take back to the base and start. Glass cannon, hiding in the bushes, very quietly. You little shit. You little shit. Uh, before I do anything, actually, I'm going to quickly check the uh, the church. You'll notice how I didn't go towards the police station. I didn't really want to go to the police station today. Because I know if I go over there, I'm going to die. Oh, hello. Pink. There we go. Yeah. 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 Let's go. We're just going to bunny hop this. There we go, bunny hopping all the way over. Now, this place is dangerous. Do you want to know why? If I open this door, there's going to be about four puppets in here. Well, that was a fucking lie. Alright, okay. Well, there's no puppets in here. Some woolly gloves. What's in the altar piece? An ornament. Checks out. Ooh, driving gloves. I can't, I can't even want to take them. It's fashion souls, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, so no, no, no money. No money. Give me the money. I need them. These steps sometimes play havoc with me. Honestly. A little candle! You know, I'm going to take that because that, that is a form of light. You can indeed light that and it will give you a small crumb of light around your base. Not, not a great deal, but just enough. Just enough to kind of see what you're doing. Hey, look, a bow. A scorpion. What kind of draw weight is this right now? I can't even tell. Uh, is there a way to change? Oh, I can adjust it. Oh, is it 60? It's a 60 draw weight. <gasps> we can use 85. It's up at 85. This thing's a beast. 85 pound draw weight bow. Whoa. Right, okay. That's pretty good. Oh, it's really good. It's really good. <laughs> uh oh, I can hear trouble. <laughs> Fool. This is the house of the Lord. <laughs> and I am the Lord. <laughs> I'm joking, obviously. Just don't go banzai at me. Don't, don't, don't go banzai at me. All right. It's a joke. Simmer. Right. Let's see if I can hit these guys from here. Oh, I can! I can! Oh, I, ding I dinged him once. Oh, and he ran away. Coward! Face me! Come here. Come back here, you bastard. Come here. Come here. I, I really, I really want to... That was aggressive, like, snarling right there. Did you hear that? Donk. That is indeed a rager bumper. You want to get your ragers out, boys? Not like that. Not like that. Don't, 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 don't go out in public and take a rager, okay? Right? You know what I mean? You know what I mean, right? I mean the car. I don't mean, I don't mean. Right. I'm being quiet now. I'm going to stop talking. Well, I can't. Uh, smartphone battery that is kind of almost dead. Ooh, uh. Yeah, I kind of want those. Fashion souls, you know what I mean? Everything's about the fashion souls. Right. I want to try and find a portable stove. Even if it's an electrical one. Oh, there's a needle. Hello? Hello? I like a front bumper. Hmm. Smartphone, we can take that to sell. I'm going to try... What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and just build a little collection of smartphones. If you do see me miss a smartphone, you have... Every obligation, every obligation to shout at me in the comments, do you understand? If I miss, if I miss one smartphone, you can shout at me. I'm giving you permission to shout, you shout at me anyway. You'll shout at me anyway. What am I talking about? You'll shout at me anyway. You missed that, you missed that. You missed the portable stove, where are you blind? Right, I'll take that smartphone, but. 
I can just see the comments now. Don't bully me. I'm innocent. I'm just a little bit silly, okay. Oh. Silence. Quiet. Oh, shit. I'm gonna need you to be quiet. I'm gonna need you to be quiet. And you've aggroed your pal. Thank you. Didn't want that to happen. Hi. Stop jumping about. Dude, how are you still alive? That was right through your head. Okay. All right. Okay. I think we're safe now. <laughs> I think we're all right. I give me all these arrows. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take that one. And I'll take this one. Piggy. I can hear the piggy. More arrows. More arrows. I need more arrows. I need all the arrows back, please. Thank you. Arrow, arrow. Arrow, arrow. Right, uh, so I'll be nosy in the police station. I did say I was going to do a little bit of fishing right now, but because I've kind of cleared... Oh, shit. Silence! Quiet! Ooh, they've opened all the doors. They've quite literally opened all the doors. Ha ha! Ladies and gentlemen, you can now no longer blame me for opening doors and leaving them more and actually leaving them open. You can no longer blame me. But oh hello. Uh unpack. Uh drop that because that's only one. It's actually stacked itself into the other one. So that's good. <laughs> oh man, hold on. Equip. No, that one's better. That one's better. Get, get out of my pockets. Get out of my pockets, you bastard. Right, uh, I'm gonna have a little. Hold on, I'm gonna have a little chow on some of these apples. Get a wee sweet tooth going. Uh, I think we'll drink some of this energy juice as well. Try and keep our stamina quite high. I believe it's a hundred percent, but. You know, what's what, what's what's an extra bit of stamina gonna do? Do you know what I mean? It's not like my heart's gonna explode or anything like that. At least I bloody hope it's not. <laughs> just imagine that. You over-caffeinate and it's just... <laughs> you keel over. That'd be horrible. That'd be terrible. Right. I did have some bobby pins here, so we'll just have to make use of these ones right here. We'll take out four. Crafting. I am going to... Craft. There we go. Autocraft. Best thing in the game. Best thing in the game. Best button in the game. All crafting is the best button in the game. You cannot tell me otherwise. Lock picking. There we go. That's number one down. We're all going to be able to do this this room, by the way, because we don't have... Oh, that was a one -er. That was perfect. We'll only be able, to be able to do this room because we only have four, uh, four uses of a screwdriver and four bobby pins. So we may as well just... Um, complete this room, shall we? What's in here? Okay, that's good. Oh, that's even better. Uh, 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 Excuse me, sir. You're being a little bit on the loud side. Gonna need you to stop that. Oh, shit. Oh, they're angry. Oh, they're angry. Oh, golly, they're angry. That's him dead. Oh, boy, they're angry. I don't know how I managed to aggro so many there, but I, I managed it. <laughs> I certainly managed it. Right, there should be one right here somewhere. Oh, oh. I can hear. Oh, there he's there. Oh, I got him. I didn't even need to look. 
I even need to look exactly where I was shooting. I just shot. Ha <laughs> ha. Rat. <laughs> right. Now we can go back in and pick up some of the stuff that we actually managed to get out of the, out of the boxes and stuff like that. So, I am going to pick 357. <gasps> mm. Hold on. Uh, 357 Magnum. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Five rounds of 357. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I have a big gun that can make big holes in things. <laughs> right. Uh, what do we have room for? Do we have room for anything? I'm going to take the magazines. Uh, put that back on. Take that. Um, do I have enough room to... I'm... W mm, hold on. I'm wondering, do I have enough room to do this? If I've got enough... Oh, I might have enough room to do this. If I do that, and then I do that. Oh, oh yes. Right, time to go home. Time to go home. What I need to do is find myself some thread. Oh, hold on. I can't go that way because if I go that way, I'll get aggroed. Back to the back to the base. Back to base. We move. We RTB. It's all RTB from here. We run. You know what? Do, do, do we run? Do we run or do we take one little pot shot at this stupid puppet? Where is he? There he's there. Oh, there's one right there, huh? Okay. There's one there. Oh, there's quite a few here. This is maybe a bad idea. I'm gonna save the bullets. <laughs> I'm gonna save the bullets. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make that. Uh, I'm not gonna make that decision. Not today. Not right now. Hmm. <laughs> that could have been bad. <laughs> could have been bad. Right. I think I have enough time to do a little bit of fishing. So what we'll do is we will take all this stuff back to the base, take this stuff back to the, the boxes and stuff like that, uh, and we'll see if we can actually fish in this little stream right here. See if we can actually get something out of it. I don't think it's big enough. On the other... Uh, though, it does look big enough. It does look... It does look deep enough that it might hold a fish. Maybe. Maybe. Not sure. It might hold a fish. You never know. Uh, right, what are we looking for? We're looking for thread. We're looking for thread. That's actually a completely free box right there. I didn't even realise I had that. Look at all the screw... Oh, it's all the screwdrivers. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I've actually got one. Don't need to worry. There we go. Yeah. That's good. I'll put that in there. Chuck all this guff in here. Yeah. Perfect. Liking that. Love, in fact, that can live in there because that's technically going to be uh, sold. Right, let's keep a hold of that because that's quite a useful little item right there. Get all our seeds put away. Scroll up here. Do we have 12 out of 12? We do have 12 out of 12. We can start putting all this stuff away. Uh, put that there. Put that there. We've got some wine. We've got some 12 gauge. We've got ourselves a little drill. We've got a, ma a nice new magazine for a 357 Magnum. Uh, Deagle, that is. Not for the uh, for anything else. Those are single hooks, I believe. The small hook pack. I might have to... Hmm, I might have to take those with me if I'm actually going to do fishing. So I'm just going to start chucking stuff in here as well. Because this, uh, this box is starting to get a little bit on the full side. But I don't want to kind of muddle it up too much with the, the fishing stuff. Right, put that there. And chuck you in here. Our plucked chicken. Our nice feathers, our rice cooking book. So we can make some rice dishes. Right, I'm going to take all this stuff with me. I'm going to take the meat with me. I'm not going to necessarily take the sardines with me. Uh, take the bobbers, take these. I'm going to put... Mm, I'm going to put you in here. All I'm going to do is move you. Put that there. Put you there. And put... Oh, hold on. Right, that's better. I totally forgot about the bottom so. I totally forgot about the bottom set. Oh, that Bushman has seen better days. I'm going to replace that with that knife. There we go. Right. We're, we're a little bit more empty now. We're a little bit more... Uh, 
ready for this kind of stuff now. Right, so just uh, may as well just take out a couple of fishing hooks, right? There we go. What we can do is we can swap out that hook for that hook, and we can put some meat bait on that. Right, there we go. Right, let's see if we can actually fish here. Let's see if we can fish here. Oh, the current's moving it. The current is really moving it. Maybe I can't fish here. Because it's moving it so, so quickly. Maybe. You know what, actually? Tell you what, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly uh, run over here. Run over here. So, I'll see you in just a second, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're here. We've made it. So, here we have a little lake. A little, 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 little baby lake. Little baby lake. This, in fact, this is actually quite fun. This is actually quite funny. Um, this is about the size of some of the fisheries that I visit, like this right here. This is kind of the kind of the general size of some of the commercial fisheries that I visit to actually go fishing as well. Uh, I only do. I only go to commercial fisheries when, well, I can't be bothered or I don't have a permit for a specific place. But, at least, we can start fishing here though. There we go, launch it out there. Right, do a little bit of fishing here. This'll be good. This'll be nice and ideal. There we go, nice little, uh, nice little uh, pinpoint on that bobber right there, that little fishing float. Right, all we have to do is just be patient. Just watch this thing sink under the water. In fact, that's a better view. There we go. Hopefully I can get like, I don't know, a couple of little fish out of here. Because what I want to do is I want to try and make them into a meal. And hopefully, with that meal, I'll be sustained for a little bit longer. I can actually build my character up a good wee bit. Now, if the meat bait doesn't particularly work here, what I can do is I can probably search for some, uh, some crickets. The crickets will come in handy here. The crickets will definitely come in handy here. We just have to be patient. It's just a case of waiting. Usually, when I go fishing, uh, I, I, as I said before, I don't normally use uh, bait and float and stuff like that. I don't tend to use that. I tend to go out uh, with lures. I, I fish for pike. Or musky, if you want to call them that. Musky is a, I think it's a Canadian species of pike. Can't remember. Won't pretend that I know. Um, I don't know. <laughs> but they, they look similar. They look similar. The coloration patterns on their on their uh, on their backs and their their bellies and stuff that is very different though. Uh, I think pike are less aggressive than a musky. I think a musky's more aggressive. They're uh, they look like uh, leopards or tigers the way that their their patterns work on their stomachs. It's really really cool. I'd love to catch one. I'd love to catch one um, on a kayak on a boat by off like, on the shoreline. I'd love to catch one. I'd love to catch Lardmouth Bass. I'd, there's loads of things I'd love to catch. Oh! I was talking too much. I was... <laughs> I was talking too much. What an idiot. What an idiot. Oh. oh, there's fish right here. They're right in front of me. Right. Paying attention. Paying attention. I'm paying attention. I am paying attention. I am not going to lose track of this. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, what? I don't even know what I caught there because he just threw it back. God damn it. Right, okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll just, we'll, we'll try this again. Reel it in a wee bit so it's a wee bit closer to the to the fish here. Right. Come on, fishies. I did catch one. I did technically catch one. But the, the game was like, you you reeled in. That means you don't want to keep it. No, I want to keep it. I, I want it. I need it. It's, I, it's, it's a requirement at this point. Right, tell you what, we'll reel... We'll reel this in. Reel it 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 in. 
Right. Let's try let's try this again. Right out there. There, right. Get it so the light we can actually see the fishing float. Hopefully we get a take. Hopefully we get a take. I'm really hoping we do get a take again. Cause uh I was uh I wasn't really paying attention right there. I was not paying attention at all. <laughs> We need a little bit of meat, just a little bit of meat so we can start doing cooking and stuff like that. I believe some of the rice dishes require either fish or beef or pork. I can't remember. Um, any type of meat, there we go. You know what, a Christian cart? Or a Prussian cart? Yeah, we'll keep it. We'll keep that. That's good enough, we'll take that. A couple more of those would be good. A couple more of those. Right, let's uh, let's reel it in just a wee bit so it's more closer to the shoreline. You can kind of see where fish would rather gather. Like, see that dip right there? That's where they would be. That's that's where they would patrol or cruise around because food would just naturally fall off off that ledge. Another one. We'll keep it. Food, like, if, like food for fish would just naturally roll off that that ledge right there and roll down into them. So that's where they would gather. So let's just let, let's use logic and just fish in the uh, what would be called the margin, or at least in that little channel right there. Oh, bingo! We've hit the jackpot here. Another Prussian carp. We'll take it. A couple more of them. That would be really good. There we go, throw it right out there. And what we'll do is we'll drag it. Oh, we don't even have to drag it in. No, we do, we do, we do, we do. There we go. Hopefully we get another take. Hopefully we get another. I'd like to get five of them. Five of these Prussian carp. Uh, the reason for that, uh, I want to turn one into meat. I want to turn it into a, a bait, essentially. Oh, too close to the shoreline. We'll try this again. Launch it. There we go. That should that should be in a half decent position right there. That should be good enough. Should be. Should be. My the my theory is we get it. Oh, there we. Oh, you lucky son of a. I saw it go under and I wasn't quick enough to click. I wasn't quick enough to land a hit. Setting the hook. Shocking. Didn't even set it. Right, come on, fishies. I need I need five of you right now. I need one of you to turn yourselves into bait. And I need to take the other four home. Whoop, there we go. There's another carp. Yep, Prussian carp. I'll be taking you. I'm glad I switched out for the uh, the single hooks, though. If I used the treble hooks, I think it would have been a wee bit overkill. I mean, this line that I'm using right now is overkill. Like, this is, this is heavy-duty line. Like heavy diameter line, you shouldn't be using this on like wee fish like this, because you wouldn't feel it. You wouldn't feel the take. It'd be way too heavy. They'd see it, and it would spook them. Right, come on, fishies! I need one of you to turn yourselves into bait. You're right there. Come on. Oh, you're right on top of it. Come on. Scoop it up. Hoover it up. Come on. Hoover it up. There we go. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, oh, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. <laughs> that's a big boy. That's a big boy fish. <laughs> Let's, I'm not. I'm not turning him into bait. He's gonna be food. That was pretty good. I enjoyed that. As, as soon as as soon as soon as I saw him in the in the water column and I saw the size of it, I was like, "That's not a Prussian carp. <laughs> That's something bigger. That's something bigger." <laughs> he better give me a lot of fillets. That'd be really good if he did. Come on, little fishies! I need one more Prussian carp, and I'm going to turn them into bait. Come on! Come on! Yep. Yeah. 
Ooh, where are you? Oh, a Christian car. Okay, now we're talking. Okay. Uh, I'm going to chop you. You can't see me chop this thing, but I am indeed chopping it. Hold on. That's a big fish. 2.4 kilograms. Mm-hmm. Uh, make meat. Meat bait. Oh, look at all the meat baits. Look at that. Look at that! Perfection! Lovely! Oh! Right. Let's get some meat on this hook and let's go fishing. Fishing over the reeds, probably not a good idea. Especially if you have an expensive lure like a Rapala or a Zeman. Those things are expensive here. <laughs> And the, but they're so effective. Look, honestly, they're so effective. I've caught so many fish now on Rapala countdowns. I've caught so many fish on Z-Man uh, TRDs, or also known as turds. Very good, very good soft baits. Very good soft bait lure. Keep. Oh. <gasps> I clicked the wrong button. I clicked the wrong button. God damn it. Right, let's try this again. And launch it! Let's see if we can get a bigger fish here. So we're using meat baits right now, but I don't have any sort of fish baits. What I could possibly do is return back home and pick up maybe a bleak, a bleak. And use that to maybe try and pick up a pike or something. I don't know. At the moment, I'm catching coarse fish. Oh, there we go. Maybe not. I missed it. Fish got away. It's okay. We'll let him circle back. Let, let him circle back and he'll pick up the meal. Come on. Come on, big boy. Come back and pick it up for yourself. Come on. Don't let your wee brothers take it. I want a big fish here. I want another, uh, what the hell are these things called again? An amour. I want one of them. I want another one of them. Come on, fishy. Show yourselves. But as I was saying, Rapala Countdowns, uh, and Z-Man Turds. There we go, there we go, I'll be taking you. Christian Carp. Perfect. Uh, one more fish, we'll do one more fish and then we'll call it a day, shall we? One more fish and we'll call it a day. We'll call it, call it an evening, because it is getting night time now. So, I'll need to RTB home and set up the camp essentially, get the fire going and what we'll do is we'll wait until morning to do the next episode but anyway, yeah Z-Man TRDs, uh, Rapala Countdowns uh, Mc Abu Garcia McHybrids and McHybrid Babies uh, Svartzonkers um, what else have we got? I think they're called Berkeley Zillas Berkeley Zillas are really good as well big fan of those what else do I like? What else do I like? Uh, Fox Rage Replicants. Fox Rage Replicants. They're pretty damn good as well. They're very good. Weston are also a pretty good brand if you want to do any sort of lure fishing and stuff like that. They've got a, a lure called a Ricky the Roach. And oh my god. See if you get the rigged and ready one. It's really good. But see if you want to take it just as a soft lure and you put a jig head on it or like rig it in such a way that allows the, the treble hook to kind of trail off the back side of it, like a stinger, um, yeah, you're going to have a lot of fun with that. But honestly, you'll have so much fun with uh, a Ricky the Roach, especially in um, roach colours. If you use the right um, like imitation colour, oh, you, you'll, ki you, you'll make a killing, honestly. So productive, so effective, so much fun. They're so good. Uh, last one for you is probably the Berkeley Pulse Tail. One of my favourite spinner lures. So much fun with those. Pike smash them, perch smash them, trout smash them. I would imagine largemouth bass will smash them because they're such awesome little lures. If you can find yourself Berkeley Pulse Tails, pick up a few of them. Pick up the heavy model, which is about 17 grams, and the light model, which is about 5.8 grams. Oh, you'll have so much fun. You'll have 
so much fun with them. Right, these fish are really taking the mickey out of this, this bait right here. Right, let's try this one. One more cast, one more cast. One more cast and then we end it. One more cast and then we end it. There. There we go. Hopefully we get a fish. Hopefully we get a fish. Right. Concentrating on the bait, on the bobber. If it goes under, you click. If it goes under, click. I'm focusing so hard right now. My brain is in active mode. <laughs> Right, come on. Come on, fishies. Come on. Show yourselves. Come on. Show yourselves. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, silly bugger. And another crushing carp to end the night. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have caught ourselves seven fish in total. We turned one into bait, and we've even got a little carp fillet right here. But we've managed to catch ourselves some Prussian carps, some Christian carps, and an Amur at 2.4 kilograms. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? What a way to end the episode as well. And I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, leave a thumbs up on this video. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Have you done much fishing, by the way? Have you guys been doing some fishing? I know we do fishing on this channel. We also do fishing in my Discord as well. Tommy, my active admin and senior mo and senior admin really, uh, occasionally holds fishing tournaments within my multiplayer server and the reward is usually either cash or items or something cool for the players that actually participate as well. It's really, really cool. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed today's episode as well as this series and you've still not subscribed, please consider subscribing, ring the little bell, you stay up to date with videos just like this, as well as a Sunday night live stream that starts between 6 and 7pm UK. We go for about 3 or 4 hours playing Scum, Stalker, sometimes Enshrouded, sometimes Pal World, and occasionally you'll also find me playing Helldivers. I've recently played it and it was a lot of fun. I know a lot of people enjoyed it. That as well, you'll also find me doing some fishing streams, maybe, maybe, maybe some fishing streams, and some Warhammer 40k painting as well. If you're interested in Warhammer 40k and you want to know what my legions are, Blood Angels for Loyalists, uh, World Eaters for Heretics, and for Horus Heresy, Sons of Horus. Not Lunar Wolves, Sons of Horus. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching today. Hope you all have a lovely day, and I hope to see some fishing pictures from you guys as well in the Discord. So, if you want to send them in, all you have to do is click the link below in the uh, description to the Discord and you can share some fishing pictures with me as well because I also shared mine as well. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Mr. Feudal. I'll see you all another time.